Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow right now uh, is uh, up 80. Nasdaq is off 65. S&Ps are up 4.5. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter. You come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go right under newsletters. You're going to see the opening call on the right-hand side. You basically just hit subscribe. You can get Basil's newsletter for one month for $128. You can get it for six months for $595, which is a savings of $173 or 22%. You can get it for a year for $995, which is a savings of $541 or 35%. They all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks. Everything to gain, zero to lose. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you doing? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Very good, thank you. So have they opened those tennis courts up there for you yet? You know, the, I don't think they've even started preparing the uh, oh. outdoor courts, the, the uh, clay courts. Uh, Not yet, okay. There's nothing, nothing happens. I don't understand it, surely. Well, what's the problem playing singles? One person's on the one side, the other person's on the other. You're can certainly use a, a long way away from each other, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> You're certainly distanced, right? Yeah. Anyway. They'll figure it out at some point. <laughs> so what are we looking at here, Basil? I get the so, charts up here. So what we're looking at is within the context of um, the, the, the uh, always trying to identify a low bar and then merely counting each success of the higher peak, anticipating at least four higher peaks going A, B, C, D. D is the fourth highest peak. Other things can happen there. Let me just show you this quickly right here. If I can just find it. There it is. So I, you come down, then you try to identify the low bar. And what's really nice with this technique is that if you're able to pick almost the exact turning point, after that, it gives you a really good cover for um, any wildness that happens. Because if you get close to the turning point and it moves away from that turning point, then all the corrections, unless it's going to take out that low or take out that high, should keep you in the trade. And that's kind of what's happened to us because we went along the Dow uh, via call options right on the 23rd of March. We've um, taken 300%, 400% gain, and we've, um, we've rolled it over into uh, the May contract. And uh, we also long from 210 in the Dow. And when you look at the chart itself, now let me just go back to the chart. So that's basically what we look for. We look for at least four higher peaks. You can see here it can go higher to E, F, and G, or it can, it's at D that other things can happen. That's my expression. Yes. So what we're looking at is that in the Dow, we went to D, pulled back a little bit, ran up to E. And what's really interesting, that started a trend line. You see this green line here on the left side chart? Yes. This, this is the daily. Actually, I'm just for the moment, I'm going to go to my the one that I show my subscribers every day. In this case, I show the same thing, the daily chart. That's without the MACD and stochastic. Then the middle one has more the technicals plus my automated Chapman wave resistance points. And this is the 120-minute bar right here of the, of the Dow. So I give a, a, every day I give a kind of a synopsis of what we're looking at in all the time frames, all the di different levels to look at. And what I'd say, this level, this green line, should become a resistance point. At the same time, a little higher, we've got automated uh, resistance levels of 24,800, 24,900. But on the short term, the 120-minute chart, we have a resistance at 24,486. Well, we went a little higher today. We went to 24,512. 24, now we're going sideways. So this is where a lot of things can happen. There's another thing that I talk about, and I'm going to show the inversion of this. This is the, this is the narrowing wedge formation, a rising wedge formation, okay. but it's one that narrows to an apex, to the point. So this one shows the red support line. See all the different levels yeah. that, we, uh, that have held very nicely? And this one has the uh, resistance. So we're right on the cusp here. So I am anticipating, because so many of the indices have gone to uh, an E or an F in the daily chart, they, they'll be getting ready for some kind of a, at least a digestive phase. It doesn't have to happen, but I, we're, we're ready for that. And at the same time, you see this narrowing wedge, this exact opposite wedge that we have on a particular stock that we um, that we bought at, uh, here we go. This is called Cirrus 
Cirrus Corporation, Global Blood Transfusion Components is the, the area that they're in. So we were very fortunate. We got in at $4.43 on the first. And then I drew this pattern. You know, I, I did a webinar two weeks ago, an all-day webinar. One of the patterns we were looking at was a pattern that I, I like to give nicknames to these. Uh, I call it the falling axe. Basically what happens is the price runs up, keeps bumping into resistance, and then pulls back and has lower highs and much lower lows. And then it starts to rally. And it gets to a point where it creates a resistance level. In this case, it's right at the 200 period moving average. And then what I drew, and I, I spent some time showing subscribers, and I showed in that we spent a little time in my webinar on this. And I said there's a technique I developed a long time ago that's like a one-to-one. -one. It's called Chapman Wave one-to-one -one parallel extension. The whole thing about it is that the angle of the incline becomes the angle of the next incline. And in this trend line resistance, if it breaks out, this trend line then becomes support. And what I do is I draw a the same thing, the, the distance from the bottom, 271, to this particular level right here at the breakout, which was at about 470. And then I extend it, and I had this out as a, that's where, that was the target. And look where it hit. Today, it went, uh, we were in a 4.43, it hit $6.40. It's in a leg F, but, and I'm expecting it to pull back a little bit. But that, that's a technique, that's one of the techniques that we worked on that I show subscribers. So I like to show subscribers exactly what we're doing, what, what particular wave technique we are using at the time. And this is a nice example, so um, I thought I'd, I'd, I'd explain that. We're also, at this time, not going for very high-priced stocks. I'm trying to get some low-priced stocks because I do think we're in a very difficult phase now. I mean, what can Google say? I don't know. The, the advertising revenue must be just gone. Advertising, I think. Um, sure. TripAdvisor, Trip Advisor, which I think is here, in, 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 it was in Newton, where I live. Uh, it's now in Needham. They opened this brand-new, beautiful building. And they just announced they're going to close, I think, 600, um, taking away 600 jobs in downtown Boston. Wow. So uh, you know, it's, going to be, it's going to be difficult. So I think we're in for a little bit of a consolidation. We had a spectacular run. And what I really like about the, the movement in the Dow is that the weekly chart has just begun a leg B. I want you to see that B. Now, it stopped right at the 14 period exponential moving average, this black line right here. But uh, to think under all these conditions that at this stage, the Dow could have dropped from 29,500 down to the 18,200 and is now in just one, two, three, four. This is the fifth week from below, and it's gone up 51 or 50 percent. I think that's admirable. And but you can see all the resistance levels here. So I think we're maybe sideways for a little while. But um, so far, we're very lucky that we've got stocks that have done very nicely. We bought a very low price stock yesterday uh, on Friday. I'm sorry, at one, I think it was at 185. Today it hit uh, 240. It's pulled back a little bit. It's at 213. So it hit. It gave a, a quick 40 percent uh, uh, gain, and now it's pulled back a little bit. Yeah, I do I like it. it. Yeah, so I, we, we, I'm trying to be very strategic here because I think the easy, well, I don't know if it's easy, but the easier part has been done. Perhaps now it comes a little bit more difficult. Folks, and really easy to get Battle's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go into newsletters. You see the opening call right on the right-hand side. You just hit subscribe. Battle, you have a great night, a safe night. Of course, we look forward to the show tomorrow at noon. And good luck for your upcoming webinar. It's yeah, we're rolling there. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Dow, Dow up 75, NASDAQ down 68. S&Ps are flat. We'll come right back.